Why is it so urgent to actually pause on this whole business with vaccinating children? So, um, we've been campaigning from the beginning that there should never have been vaccines for children in the first place. Um, children don't need it. And the fact that, you know, as time has progressed, the situation has become more and more ridiculous. We've had more data coming through from safety surveys, which have shown the same problems as were reported through the passive reporting surveys. And we've seen excess mortality in the young that hasn't been investigated. And then Omicron came along. And so, you know, we, we have a whole series of, of reasons not to be doing this and have had all along. And yet the government is still recommending it, including in, for the very unethical reason of trying to protect vulnerable people that children live with, even though we know right. that it doesn't stop infections. And even though the one country that's still publishing the infection rates, which is Israel, shows that a higher proportion mm. of children are infected after their second and third doses than after the first dose or in yeah. the unvaccinated. There is a kind of insanity in the air, Tony, uh, where I now read across the Western world uh, media reports in which they're trying to normalize myocarditis uh, in, in 12 year olds and nine year olds, which, as far as I'm aware, has never really been a thing. And myocarditis isn't a light illness. Why, why do you think, rather than actually looking at the root causes, people are actually trying to say, well, a little bit of myocarditis among primary schoolers isn't anything to be worried about? Well, myocarditis in children is extremely rare. And there's a narrative has been sort of developed over the last few months that myocarditis was also a major part of catching COVID in children and adults. Mm. But actually that wasn't correct. It is much more likely after vaccination. And unfortunately, it gets more likely in the younger people. So particularly teenagers and uh, people in their 20s, men rather than women. And it's been sort of dismissed as just a little bit of heart inflammation. But the problem with myocarditis is that when we're born, we're born with a certain number of heart muscles. We never get any more heart muscles. And myocarditis will cause damage to some of those heart muscles. Some of those heart muscles will die and they will not de regenerate. The danger is that you can have then a weak heart, you can have problems with arrhythmias where the heart doesn't beat correctly. And there has been you know, an increase, hasn't there, in what are called uh, people that died suddenly, um, athletes yeah. that are collapsing unexplained, and much of those cases can be put down to heart arrhythmias. Um, and so that's why really the vaccine ought to be stopped for everyone under 18. Um, Denmark, in fact, I think has stopped the vaccine for everybody below 50. So gradually right. the narrative is starting to change.